In this video, we will cover what's new in Filmora X or Filmora 10. Now, just a few days ago, Filmora has actually released a new version of Filmora 9, which is called Filmora X or Filmora 10. Now, in this new release, there's actually six new things that actually will make Filmora a whole lot better video editor. Now, if you have been using Filmora 9, now is the time to uh, upgrade. Uh, it is a free upgrade. If you are new to Filmora, uh, just take note that Filmora is a paid software. So if you are looking for a free software, you can also check some of my links below where I also review them on my channel. Uh, having said that, it is not very expensive. So it is a pretty good software for what it can do. The first thing is actually motion tracking that allows you to track motion as you uh, as things move in that video. With motion tracking, you can attach text, graphics, or practically any other thing and actually create a very interesting effect using this new feature. So some of the things that's also useful for motion tracking is if you want to blur off a logo or maybe you're wearing a shirt and you want to blur off certain things and you're actually moving about in that frame, a motion tracking can help you do that. Now, next is actually keyframing. Now, keyframe has existed in Filmora. However, it only applies to the audio track, which I'm going to cover a little bit later because there's also a new feature called audio ducking. Okay, now in Filmora X or Filmora 10, uh, keyframes now can be applied to a video as well. So you can actually shrink down your video, zoom up, you can control things like opacity, and even make your videos spin like this. All right, so that's what keyframe can do. Number three is color matching. You know, you have clips that comes with different color tones and maybe the white balance is a little bit different. With color matching, you can actually match your clips up all very easily and you don't really need to fine tune it in each individual clip manually. Okay, you can just tell Filmora to match it to this particular clip, this particular frame and they will do it for you and you get to adjust how strong you want that effect as well. Next, number four is audio ducking like I mentioned earlier. Now in the past, what you have to do is that you have to uh, manually lower the volume of your background music and then when there is no speech, then you can raise up that volume again. With audio ducking, you can tell Filmora how much you want to lower the background music and then Filmora will actually detect the speech that's happening on a different track, lower the background music and when there is no speech or you're not talking, you will actually automatically raise that volume up again. So again, it will actually help you make video much faster because now uh, you will just set the levels and Filmora will actually uh, reduce that volume automatically for you to the level that you prefer. Now the two last things is number one, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, in the past, Filmora has keyboard shortcuts, but now you can actually customize them to anything that you like. So if you are using more than one video editor like what I do, uh, each video editor generally will have their own keyboard shortcuts. So if you want to have them all same so that you can actually switch between video editing software, you can do so. It's so much more convenient and you don't have to remember. And even if you don't use more than one video editor, you can also customize it to something that you like so that it is so much more uh, convenient for your, uh, for you. Finally, one of the major things is a light or dark theme. Now in the past, Femora does have the option, but it was removed. So now they put it back and now you can choose whether you want to have a dark mode or light mode, uh, something that actually will help your eyes, right? So you don't have to be stuck to the dark mode or dark theme. And if you're in a bright room, maybe you want to give your eyes a, something, something for a change. With that said, if you want to find out more about Filmora 10, you can actually check out my playlist here. The great thing about it is that most of the user interface still remain the same. So if you are moving up from previous versions of Filmora, say like Filmora 9, it shouldn't be an option, uh, difficult for you to uh, upgrade and switch. And uh, if you want to check out the free trial, you can get a free trial version of Filmora uh, 10. Uh, all the function works the same as if the paid version, however, uh, and let me just let you know that if you use the free trial version, there will be a huge watermark all across the video. That is about the only bad thing about this free trial version. Other than that, all the functions is there for you to test. And if you, are, if you want to purchase the software, it is not really that expensive. It's only about $39 plus US dollars, $40 for annual fee and I think it's about 60 or 70 for the lifetime fee.